Don't just live for tomorrow Or just live for yesterday Just be glad for all you have that's in today Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to The Owl House, episodes, well, probably 17 through 19. That's right. The plan is, unless for some reason something stops here, um, I just decide I don't want to watch anymore, I guess. Um, the plan is to finish out the season today. Um, and there's not really a huge reason. It's just I, I want to... I want to kind of get caught up to this, I guess, is the best way to put it. It's just, I've already been so behind, and it's like, I just, I, I want to be caught up. That's all. <laughs> um, plus, there's other stuff, to be fair, on the list for future with uh, donation rewards. And I just feel like we've been on the same stuff for so long. Um, and I've just wanted to kind of, like, change that up, you know? I've wanted to keep things updated. You guys know that I, I like to keep things as updated as possible. Um, we just finished Dororo yesterday. And so now we're also going to finish the Owl House. And we'll be moving on to new stuff. Um, I will announce what will replace Owl House. In, meanwhile. At the end, though. Um, but. Last time. We got the Grom dance or whatever it was called. Um, and we had the confirmation that Amity has a crush on Luz. And they're not like a couple or anything at the moment because Luz doesn't seem to know that Amity has a crush on her. And it's not really apparent how Luz feels about Amity like in terms of romance. She clearly sees her as a friend, but... It's hard to say otherwise. Um, so we'll just have to see where that goes, maybe. Like, all they really did, they had a big dance and everything, um, which was a great moment and all, to defeat uh, Grom, and that was the big thing behind it. But, and again, I know that Luz is bi and Amity is uh, lesbian. I, I, like the, I know this has been confirmed. But again, there is no actual couple yet. It's still great representation for the queer community, but they're not actually a couple at the moment still. And we want it to happen. <laughs> like, it's clear. Everyone wants it to happen, and it might. It might, and I hope it does. We'll just have to see, though. Um... But moving on with what we've got here. Um, so, I don't know what's going to happen going forward. I know of one thing, I guess, that's in these next three episodes. But it's it's I, it's I so vague. Like, what I know is so vague about it. And it's like, I, it's... Basically, I saw a screenshot once. Once. <laughs> And I don't even fully remember all of what was in it. It's just, I, I, it's just, I know it's something I haven't seen yet. Let's just put it that way. I'll, I'll probably recognize it when it comes up so I can let you guys know. But, yeah. We'll just, we'll see how things go. Um, I am excited to get to more of this though, like. Like I had said before, I, I very much enjoy this series, and I'm so glad that I came back to it. Um, but at the same time, I still feel that my initial concerns were still valid. And let's talk about that one thing still. So in the last reaction, I think a couple people had actually said that, like, see, it's it makes sense that they didn't reveal anything with the mom yet it, it works they made it work and it's like eh they kind of did like I, I get what you're saying like it kind of makes sense it kind of works but only kind of and it, and it doesn't it doesn't stop the point from being that this should have been revealed sooner 
it's the same issue that Little Witch Academia had. Except the reveal is more in, in this time in, in due to like revealing to the audience rather than the character. With Little Witch Academia, it's like, okay, the audience has known this from the start of the series and they don't reveal it to our main character until the end. But they keep teasing it and it just... It, it's so irritating and upsetting to watch because of that. And it definitely almost made me drop Little Witch Academia because of that. But here, it's like the opposite thing. It's like, we don't know. And, and the character doesn't know either, but we don't know e either like what's going on. And the problem is, this is something that needs to be known, that need, that we need information on. So it just feels off to me. And revealing it this late into the season as well, it didn't fix the problem. It didn't magically make it okay. So it's like, I, I kind of disagree that it's just like, okay, it makes perfect sense and it all was good now. No, no. It still should have happened earlier in the season. Because that's, that's too big of a, a plot hole otherwise. Like, up until this point, it's like, it was kind of up in the air if it would happen. And I knew it would happen. I was already told so. But still, from like, if, if I was watching this as it aired, it's like, it would be so fucking irritating. If I was watching this as it aired as it originally, I probably would have dropped it and not continued. Granted, I continued because it was a donation reward. And so I definitely... Still, thank you, Smurf, for having me continue. Um, because I, I'm glad that I got to see more of this and everything. And got to see certain things that I did know about, but see it in context. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I am glad that I continued. It's just that is my one big drawback with this series still at this point. Um, but either way, we're just going to get this started and hope for the best with these final episodes. So when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episodes. So that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. <laughs> Sorry if I wasn't saying a lot during those last two episodes, but Ooh, god damn. Yeah, I'm definitely glad that I continued this, so thank you, Smurf, for requesting this. Um I'm trying to form my thoughts. I'm trying to figure out what to say about all this. I mean, the episode with the with the ball game and everything was super cute and it had a lot of, a shit ton of really cute uh, lose and amity stuff in it. But then there was the 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 last two episodes, eighteen and nineteen. And it's like just my brain feels scrambled. I, I guess I guess the best way to start would be to talk about the end. So they escaped the Emperor, but he's letting them go and going to be watching over them while creating his portal. We don't know his goal, but he's clearly lying about the Titan. There's historical revisionism thrown in. And he wants to get to the human world, and we don't know why. But Lilith has betrayed the Emperor's Coven, and presumably that means she's become a wild witch as well, sharing in the curse with Ida to make up for everything she's done, including giving Ida the curse in the first place, which was unintentional, mind you, but still.
I feel like when season two eventually does come, and I know what's coming, I know it's already confirmed, it's just we don't know anything about when it's coming. I know that when it, I feel like when it does come, this is going to be a Gravity Falls situation. The first season had a lot of, like with Gravity Falls, the first season had a lot of fillery stuff. Like, like stuff that felt like it was filler, that it felt like unimportant, just little slice of life episodes and stuff. But then when it got intense, when it got to the important stuff, it really got to it. And then season two with Gravity Falls went heavy into the more exciting, intense, really heavy stuff. And it still had a few of those little, like, slice of life episodes and all, but it, it was mostly focused on the important stuff. And that might be where this is going. And, and while Owl House might end up having more seasons than, than, um, than Gravity Falls, I, I, I still feel like it could be going in that same direction, where season two is going to be a lot more focused, a lot more intense, a lot more dark. And, and I, all for one, am good with that. With uh, the Emperor planning to go to the human realm, they could do a lot with all of that. The duel between Ida and Lilith was easily the animation highlight of this series so far. Like, people have praised the animation and how fluid it looks in the opening, and yeah, it does. And, and the show, up to this point, hadn't really lived up to that in a way. Like, the animation is good in the show. I'm not, I'm not going to say it's not, but that witch's duel, was, it, it, like, they stepped up the animation so drastically... Like, like, it felt like, you know, when you, uh, like, look up something, like a video on YouTube, and you see, like, a, oh, this is the, um, the, what's it called? God, my, my mind is blanking just because of how intense that, uh, that finale was. But it's, like, the, not 1080p, but, like, not 4K. You know what I mean, where it's, like, Oh my god, my mind's gonna my mind is blanking on this. I, I think I, I have to look it up. I know exactly what to look up for it too. Um let me see if I can find it real quick here. Sixty frames per second. Yeah, I just had to look on YouTube and start typing it in. Um, it, when you look at a video on YouTube and, and you find like a 60 frame per second version and, and the, the, it makes it look weird in a lot of ways, that's almost what it was like here, except it was like, actually like it, it felt more natural in its execution, if that makes any sense. It felt like it was like... When you see the videos put into 60 frames per second, when they're not originally intended to, it looks weird as fuck. It does. But here, it's like, it looked like it was that level, but it was meant to be. And also, like, um, like, it, it just, everything, like, again, I, I kind of stated in the reaction itself, but, like, the animation budget feels like it just went towards that fight specifically. Um... And I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. Um, but Luz did manage to rescue Ida. She, with her and Lilith splitting the curse, I don't know how that's going to affect them both. But at least for now, it allows them to be like not in like any kind of transformed state but it does weaken their magic significantly to the point where Ida just can't really do magic anymore and 
Lilith is just notably weakened. Season two is going to be intense. I, I, I don't know what else to say about it, but season two is going to be fucking intense. Um, I, I don't know what else to talk I, 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 My mind is so fried right now after that. It's just, I, I don't know what else to talk about. Like, I mean, I could talk about how much I loved the first of these episodes, episode 17, with all the, again, with all the Luz and Amity stuff, but it's like, that's just going to be me gushing over the gay for however long. I, I guess I could talk about Willow and uh, Gus, but it's like, they were just kind of doing what they always do and just helping out and everything, and it's like, th their roles were important but not like as investing as everything else i guess you could say the emperor is creepy as fuck and i've already mentioned how he is clearly revising history and lying about uh communicating with the titan who gave who caused everyone to gain magic in the first place i don't know what his overall goal is but we'll have to see when that comes and it's just like, what? I wonder what the reason is, though. Why is he lying about all this? Why did he make the coven system in order to restrict everyone else while he still gets to use any kind of magic he wants? What is the reason? Is he, pur is there, is he purposefully weakening everyone on the Boiling Isles? For a reason? That, like, the only thing I could think of that he would need to do that is if he were planning to attack them. If he were planning to, like, do something where, or, or just maybe he was going to do something that he knew they would disapprove of, and he needed to make sure that they couldn't fight back against him by weakening them this way. And that's why he takes care of all the wild witches, because they're the only ones who would be a threat to him. That's, there's that maybe, but... That means whatever he's planning would have to be excessively bad. He claims he's not planning on invading the human world, but it's like, at least not like in a, some kind of like militant attack. But we still don't know what the goal is here. And it's just like, it's concerning. It's extremely concerning. And, and it just, it makes me really want to get to season two but again that's not out yet and we don't know when it's going to be out yet we just know it's greenlit hell it was greenlit before season one even finished or before season one even aired so yeah that's coming at some point but who knows when it's going to be at this point might not be till next year I, I I don't really have anything else to say. I don't know what else to say. What else to talk about with these episodes. I'm just... I'm still just kind of in shock over it all. It got so intense, so emotional, so hardcore. And it's like, I'm again, I'm super glad, Smurf, that you wanted me to continue reacting to this. I'm super glad that uh, you chose it as your donation reward. Because I'm, I'm extremely thankful that I got to see all of this. That I got to experience all of this. And like I said in the pre-thoughts, I still stand by my thoughts on how they handled everything with the mother. And how that still seems off to me. Also, there was no reveal about who could have been messing with that who could have been like sending the letters that were also misspelled in the name to the mother like we don't we didn't get any actual answer about that and we know the emperor has been watching Luz and knows about Luz, but would he be doing that or having like kiki Moore or someone do that and if so 
why? I, I, I really do not understand how, like what the reason the Emperor would have for messing with that is. If it is, if it is if it is him, we don't even know that. It's just I I don't know where this is going to go. But it's gonna be wild, wild show when it does. So obviously when season two does come out, I will be reacting to it. Um but in the meantime, I need to announce what will replace Owl House in this slot for Thursdays. Um, the Thursday slot, um, is still going to be, obviously, a donation reward slot. And just continuing on with all the donation rewards I have built up, the next one that I really should get to is a reward for, and again, I really, as I've said before, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name here, uh, Rips, R-I-B-P-S, um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it there, but uh, you have asked for me to react to Doom Patrol. So I will be checking that out. Um, this will be one of the few times I have uh, attempted a live action reaction series. Um, so I don't know how this is gonna go because every other time I ended up dropping the reactions when it was live action. Um, that I can think of, unless there's something I'm forgetting. Not counting movies, not counting movies, just counting shows. Um, but I don't know. Um, I don't know too much about Doom Patrol. I, I know that it's DC. And I know that Brendan Fraser is in it. And that's pretty much my knowledge about Doom Patrol. But I, I, even though it's DC, I also know that it's not connected to any other, like, continuity or whatnot that's going on. Um, so yeah, I, I don't really know where how this is going to go, but we're going to try it out. We'll, we'll, check, we'll check it out for sure um, and see how it goes. Um, but Smurf and anyone else watching, if you have any other ideas for rewards, whether a movie, a series, etc., please feel free to suggest them. Um, you can donate at any time. Any amount of donation, as always, will get you a reward. Doesn't matter how little or much it is. Um, but I, I very much do appreciate all, all the donations, and uh, I'm glad to give you a reward and have you choose or something for me to react to. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, and, and don't worry about if it's something that you think I won't like or if it's something you think uh, uh, wouldn't fit the channel or something. I don't know. Feel free to choose anything. Even if it's a selfish request, something that you just want to see someone react to. Feel free to choose it. Anything is fair game as long as I haven't seen it. <laughs> don't, don't feel the need to hold back for anyone's sake. <laughs> uh, request whatever you want. Um, but in the meantime, uh, and again, only if you can, by the way, if don't feel like you're pressured to do so, um, I understand with the times people may not be able to afford it. Don't worry about it. You don't have to donate. It's all optional. Um, but in the meantime, tell me what you thought of these final episodes of season one of Owl House, and thank you so much for tuning in. Doom Patrol will begin right away next week, so I hope you all are interested to check it out with me. Thank you so much for tuning in, and for now, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.